Hello, Taurus. This is Maxine Taylor, and I have your April solar forecast here. And you've got some fabulous placements. I'm, I'm, it's going to be a terrific reading. Um, if you want more than the solar reading, I'm offering a spring special. Just go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com. It's all there. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. All right, let's take a look at uh, this gorgeous April forecast. First of all, let's start with Mars, the red planet. Wherever Mars is, that's what comes first to you. It's what you fight with and fight for. It is in Aquarius now, so you're fighting for uh, humanity in everything you do. You're seeing a much more cosmic, universal picture. And there it is in your 10th house of career and public image. And so with Mars in the 10th, it's time to move upward all month. No lateral moves, move upward. Go for the top slot. Check with people who can help you move up. I love it. This can bring career advancement. Our next planet is the blue planet. It's Mercury. And that's what we think about and talk about, and um, Mercury starts off in the 11th house of humanity. And so it brings another element of humanitarianism with it. It's been there for a while, and it's sitting there until the 11th, so you're thinking about friends, you're thinking about being a friend, uh, you're talking to your friends, and then on the 11th, Mercury moves into your 12th house, and you're, you, you want more solitude and privacy. Uh, the subconscious mind is triggered, which is quite beautiful. Um, and there can be behind the scenes negotiations, contracts, ideas shared privately. Then on the 27th, Mercury, the planet of communication, correspondence and transportation moves forward into your first house. And you're thinking about yourself and saying, I want to do it my way. That is the time for you to do it your way. In other words, use this. Don't squelch it. It's there for a reason. You have created it beautifully. Let's go back into the 12th just for a minute and look at the yellow planet. That's the sun right here in the 12th house. And so wherever the sun is, that's where the center of your light is. Uh, life is. It's where you shine your light. Well, you shine behind the scenes. Your subconscious is activated. And the center of your life, particularly uh, because the sun is there, but also because Mercury is there, um, the center of your life becomes private. It's nobody's business. And this is a time to pull back and retreat get your ducks in a row, um, sleep more, meditate more. On the 20th, the sun moves into your first house and you say, here I am, take me as I am. I'm doing it my way, my way or the highway. I love it. So starting on the 20th, the sun says, put yourself in this as the center of your world and then mercury comes along a week later and says yeah and share your ideas it's just great now look at venus the pink planet it has been in your first house and it still is in your first um, helping you love yourself isn't that gorgeous love yourself and it moves into your second house of money which is uh, where it feels very comfortable because it normally rules that second house and you can create more love, more money, more things. I love it. Okay, those are the planets. Let's talk about the lunations. The full moon on the seventh is in your sixth house of work, health and service. So your job, comes to the surface. This is really cool. It's in 18 of Libra. Find 18 of Libra in your birth chart. And this is where uh, things will come to a head. 
tie it in with this full moon in your sixth house and you'll have the whole picture. And then the new moon on the 22nd, that's when things start moving along. And so you have more energy. You're saying, yes, I'm doing my thing my way. And I encourage that incredibly. So don't you love your month? It is just terrific. With this full moon in your sixth house and Mars of, of work and Mars in your 10th house of career, time to move upward. So, dear Taurus, April looks great. And so my blessing is, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.